Hey, what's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you this iPhone 7 Plus and the charging from 0 to 100. Now, right this phone right now is completely dead as you can see here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put a clock uh, in the middle of this table, the one that you can see behind me, and I'm going to be charging the iPhone using my 2016 MacBook Pro's uh, charger. Um, I do have a USB-C to lightning cable, and I will be charging it through there. Now, I do want you to keep in mind that uh, the charging capabilities are the same on the iPhone 7 Plus, meaning five. Uh, 5 volts uh, at 2 amps which is about 10 watts but I do want to show you as you can see right there it is plugged into the wall I do have a power meter uh, and that is to you know just to verify that it is at 5 volts at 2 amps and uh, I can tell you from right now that yes uh, it is reading it will be reading that now I don't know how long it takes. Um, I do want to mention that the phone is again completely dead and I'm going to leave it there like that and once I get a little bit of a charge I'm going to go ahead and turn on the Wi-Fi uh, just so that way it can kind of mock uh, what real world uh, usage would be like. Now it's not going to be 100% real world because I, I am using a different uh, device but this is just to give us, you know, uh, a good estimate as to how long you could be waiting for your phone to fully charge. Now, of course, this is just, I am not using it at all. So keep in mind that if you do tend to plug it in with the, with the two amp charger and you're constantly texting and doing all that, of course, it's going to take a lot longer because you are using the phone. But if you're just going to leave it plugged in and you just want to have an idea of how long it'll take, uh, this is this video. Uh, hope, hopefully, could uh, could help you answer that question. Now, ho well, I do want to add that the phone is not yet plugged in right now. I am getting an actual clock so that you can actually see it for yourself. That I didn't video edit anything in regards to getting this thing charged. Uh, I did plug it in, so you can see. Took the cable, uh, plugged it in. As you, you can see, the battery icon without the lightning uh, cable icon which means it's charging as you can see right there it is 5 volts at 1.9 amps 2 amps it range it goes up and down um, so it is again 10 watts and how I fig how you figure that out is you multiply the voltage with the amperage and that's the watts that you'll be getting and that one was average of about uh, 10 watts. So I went ahead and started it at 2 o'clock on that clock there and let's check out how long it'll take.
All right, folks, so there you have it. Two hours and 10 minutes, give or take three minutes. Uh, it is zero through 100, and it took a while. Uh, I would definitely like a lot faster, especially with a high-end device like that at this time. I was hoping for quick charge at that point, but we get that now with the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10, so I'm really happy about that. As you can see, it was charging, it charged at about 2800 milliamp hours by the time it hit 100. Now as you can see, the arrow is still pointing that way, meaning that there is still a charge going into the phone. So I'm assuming that there's still that little trickle charge up to, to the point where that amperage uh, gets to zero and then we are fully charged but I'm making this video from zero to a hundred um, at whichever point the hundred we see the hundred and that took again about two hours and ten minutes with again give or take three minutes um, but there you have it folks uh, if you like this video I ask that you subscribe and I ca I'll catch you in the next video